Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a slow falling ball. So when an electron moves through a magnetic field, it experiences a force at right angles to its velocity. And you can show that that's true by making the world's simplest motor. All you need is a screw, a magnet, and a battery. All you do is attach your magnet, then all you do is touch them together. And it spins extremely fast. You can see a little better when I put a little gear on the bottom here, you can see it spin and doing work. So we know that when electricity flows through wires, it creates a force and that's what makes motors work. But whenever you have moving electrons, those moving electrons also create their own magnetic field because moving electrons create magnetic fields. That's how magnets are formed. So because of that fact, whenever you have a bunch of electrons and you try to move them through a magnetic field, it's hard to do because it makes those electrons move and when those electrons move, it makes their own magnet that opposes the initial magnetic field. And this can easily be seen by using my giant monster magnet and a little thin piece of aluminum from an aluminum can. You'll notice that aluminum by itself is not magnetic at all. Aluminum has no ferromagnetic properties. It doesn't stick to a magnet. And just for reference, this is what it looks like when it slides off something. <laughs> Pretty predictable, right? But watch what happens when I try to slide it off this magnet. It's almost as though it sticks to the corners. It doesn't want to move fast past them. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's because as the electrons in the metal move past the magnetic field in the magnet, it causes the electrons to move around in circles, tiny little circles that are called eddy currents. And those eddy currents create a magnetic field of their own that opposes this magnetic field. And so basically it creates small little electromagnets in this piece of metal that oppose the force of whatever it's doing. So whatever way you try to move it, it creates a force that opposes that. And this is called Lentz's Law. And you notice that the reason that it does it more on the corners is because this is the region of the highest changing magnetic field. And that's the place where it gets caught up the most because that's the place of the highest changing magnetic field. And you can see that when I cut little slots in it, so I make it so that it can't form little loops of electricity, it doesn't get caught up on the corners as much. So basically, it's not allowing eddy currents to form anymore in the metal. So using this Lentz's law that says that whatever force you try to push a metal through a magnetic field with, you get an opposing force, you can get some really cool stuff to occur. One of them is called the slow falling ball trick. So I have here some hollow cylinders of aluminum, and you can see that these also are not magnetic. They do not stick to this giant magnet here. But if you could hold these near, it feels like you're like moving it through water or something. It's just a hard force that you get whenever you try to move it. So a cool thing you could do, what if instead of having a giant magnet like this, you had a small magnet the size of a ball and you dropped it through it? Well basically what you could do is you could get that ball to just slow down and fall very slowly through the center of it. It's really cool. So I have here a magnet, so there's plenty of room to slide around. They're both metal, not a lot of friction between them. Okay, so watch what happens when I drop it through this tube now. <laughs> See how slow it went? Put two of them together. Here's a better view from above. You can see how cool it looks with a non-spherical magnet. It looks like some matrix move or something. It just floats through. You can even do tricks like this and just keep it going because it stays stuck in the tube. You can even put it inside of it and give it a shake and the ball does not come out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section. 
And if you haven't gone to theactionlab.com to check out my Action Lab subscription box, head over to theactionlab.com now. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.